are you, Billy? Gosh, mister, you scared the jeepers out of me. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Billy. Say, what's that you got there, sport? Ah, a plant, I see. Well, do you know that right now inside this plant, at the molecular level, a lot is happening. Well, yeah, of course. Of I course you don't, Billy. Well, lucky for you, I'm going to teach you a bit about what's happening inside that plant. But I already... What's going on is called photosynthesis. There are two parts of photosynthesis. The light reaction and the dark reaction. I'll tell you something about the light reaction, which I'm sure did you know about to some extent. But that was what I was trying to... <laughs> oh, Billy, you're so funny. Gee, mister, you're weird. <laughs> Billy, let's give this plant some fresh air. Whoa, how do we get outside? Magic, Billy. Magic. Golly gee, it's so bright. My plant might get sunburned. <laughs> Actually, Billy, without the sun, your plant would die. Why? Because the sun gives it energy. Why? Because the sun is showering the plant with light photons. Why? Because you're outside, Billy. Why? Magic, Billy. Magic. Oh. So how does my plant get energy from the sun? That's a good question. You see this leaf? Hey! This leaf, inside of it, there are millions of cells. These cells are plant cells since they're in a plant. You ripped off. Inside these cells, there are different structures called organelles. We're going to take a look at chloroplast. Chlor... or... or... Chlo yes, chloroplast. Inside this chloroplast is the thylakoid membrane, also called the lumen. They produce the food for the cell. Th... Th... th, th Don't th hurt yourself, kid. Anyway, those light waves the sun sends out hit proteins on the thylakoid membrane, known as photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. And then a special reaction happens. Like magic? No, Billy. Not like magic. Like science. First, the light hits photosystem 2, which starts the reaction. Doesn't 1 come before 2? Of course not, Billy. Since there is so much energy in photosystem 2, it splits a water molecule by stealing one of the water molecule's electrons. Isn't stealing bad? Not in photosynthesis, Billy. The splitting of the water molecule makes one oxygen and two hydrogens. The oxygen if put off into the air. That's why you can breathe, Billy. Yay, I like breathing. <laughs> Those stone electrons get passed along a series of electron carriers, which connect photosystem two to photosystem one. This is known as the electron chain. Then what? Then photosystem one gets struck by light passing the stone electron on to another electron acceptor. While it is at the electron acceptor, NADP comes along and using the stone electron, it is able to bond and with a hydrogen, making NADPH. Speaking of hydrogens, whatever happened to those two hydrogens from water? I'm glad you asked, Billy. Those two hydrogens have a very special job. One is used in creating the NADPH, and the other goes to what is called the ATP synthase. There, it meets a DP and a phosphate. They want to get together, so hydrogen plays matchmaker and bonds them together. Similar to a priest, if you know what I mean. I'll tell you when you're older. Okay, mister. Well, what happens after the light reaction? What happens is called the dark reaction. Really? What happens in that? Whoa, Tiger, you need to slow down. That's a whole nother story. Wait till next time. Okay then, mister. Thanks for all the information about photosynthesis. Uh, just make sure to come back. Don't worry, Billy. Hey, we'll shake on it. Sweet. Ah, yeah.